See, it still looks good. And it will work, so. Okay. Bang this up. Alright. Well, this is part two of the video, so you guys will be uh, seeing this in two parts. So, for, yeah, I've got to work with this camera some more. It took ten minutes, and now this is a second video here, so. Don't know why it done that. It shouldn't have, but oh well. Sorry for the noise overhead there, like that. Okay. And this video's not going to be very long, then. Nope. Okay. So, put her in, like so. Push it down, fill it, it fills up. You hold it there a little bit. Roughly about, you know, count to ten or so. Thousand one, thousand two, thousand three or so, you know. And, and don't push real hard. I've only got one clamp on it. So, I don't want to push real hard or I would can mess up the tails and things. We don't want to mess up the tails, so. Well, that could spread the plastic. Whoa, we'll about pull this, push this thing out. Don't want to do that just yet. Okay. Well, now we can. I got a head start there, see? <laughs> um, if you push too hard, especially with just one, your mold will separate and then your plastic will... Uh, squeeze out and connect all four of the molds together so you just so instead of having you know well it'll just be a mess let's just put it that way it'll be a big mess and i have done that so i have learned some things clean this up a little bit here i have learned some things since june of 2004 considering i've just been doing some of them injecting for a couple of years so but i have learned some things so should really have two on it, but I know not to press too hard, so that's all I've only got one. It still really doesn't make it right, so if you're watching this at home, especially kids, don't do like I, what I'm doing. <laughs> Taking a big chance there, so don't want to do it. Believe you me. Go ahead and do the two, especially if you're just starting out, use two clamps. I should be, but I'm not. So, always use two clamps. So, you know, I've been doing this a little while. I can still goof up, and I can still get hurt. So, I have been burnt bad. So, it's been a week in the hospital. Third, severe third degree burns. It wasn't fun. Tear this piece up now. Close in here. Well, this one we'll have to cut. Okay. Come on, little pieces here. That. And this up here. Like so. Okay. All right, let's pull these out here. We got time. Yeah, they're good. Okay, so we we'll pull this out. All right, there they are. Like you saw a minute ago, we put a head, tip, hands on the edge, pull them apart, peel it off, like so. Alrighty, here's the number four one on the bottom one, looking pretty, looks real pretty there, and it didn't roll over so that's good, okay, and you can see, see, uh, that one, I, mm, I had, see I had too much white on this one, and uh, it didn't go all the way down and cover the tail up, so I goofed on this one. I'll probably keep that one. But now this one I didn't. It goes all the way. See, you can see where the white ends, and then the tail keeps it going down to where it should have. 
Okay. Uh, and the last one here, which was the first one, had that little bit of white go over it. Right there. Has that little bit of white. Like I said, just pop it right off. It's no problem. Okay, there we go. Battery's about dead, so we'll let y'all go before it dies on me completely. Uh, so, you know, you know the routine here. If you like your video, give us a thumbs up. Hit that subscriber button. That subscriber bell. We got 253 at 300. We got a giveaway coming. So hit that, hit that button. Watch these videos. Appreciate it. Tell your friends. Excuse me. Tell your fishing buddies, boys, fishing girls, whichever. It doesn't matter. We like them all. As we say here at Dwayne's Custom Bait, they can swim, but they can't hide. Goodbye.